guys, it's Koi Case. We need to talk. It's not you, it's me. But actually, really, it's me. Starting off with some formal announcements that your aunties and uncles always want to know whenever we're at a public gathering. First, this past December, I graduated college with a bachelor's degree. Woo! <laughs> I will maybe do another video talking more about that in the future because boy, do I have a lot to say about college. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Second, the good news, 21-year-old Caitlin would have loved to have known back in early 2019, I got into a teaching program abroad in Japan. Woo! Can I get another woo? And as you may guess by the fact that I have not obnoxiously inserted the fact that I'm living in Japan straight from the jump, is because the bad news is that I am not. I really wanted to share these things, maybe partly because I wanted to show people I've done something with my life, or at least was trying, but more so because my 21-year-old self last year was very wary about my last semester and then proceeded to thrive with a nice-ass finance grade, which I worked so, so damn hard for. And then, and then, Getting into the job that I wanted was pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Now that we have gotten the Facebook Instagram worthy posts and get more likes from all kinds of people that have never liked your Instagram post before out of the way, it's time to have a heart to heart. Let's talk about personal sharing of privacy on the internet. Admittedly at first, I felt like being more personal would be the best way to gain loyal subscribers since I feel very attached to the YouTubers that do. And then there's the view count standpoint where a lot of people are just straight up nosy and will watch those videos even if they don't watch the type of content you usually make. On another side, there is this fear of people feeling entitled to my business since I am sharing parts of my life. These are absolutely terrible reasons to be or not to be vulnerable on the internet. I want my intentions with what I do to be clear. When I was 21, I made a video where I came clean on my desires and fears in life. I was open and honest about who I was and who I wanted to be. It was amazing. Two years later, and I feel like I have partially gone back into hiding. I want to bring back that energy I used to have. YouTube is my form of self-expression, and if I am not being open on this platform, I honestly feel like I am closing off, or hiding, a part of myself internally. While I do believe in boundaries, I think speaking my truth is essential to my growth and acceptance of myself. I have wanted to make a lot of videos about my experiences throughout my college career and actually filmed a few of them, but never edited or posted those clips out of fear. I remember watching myself in a video talk about the emotional turmoil I was going through and I just felt more depressed, so I cut it out of the video. I didn't want to disappoint anybody or spread that negative energy. Lately, especially being a recent graduate, I felt the need to tell my story to help make meaning of the hardships and pain I went through. I thought that I could continue to make videos I love and that would be my way to let my unresolved feelings go, but it just feels like I'm burying them instead. In the past couple weeks, while in the process of making videos, I found I was being really hard on myself when not meeting the unrealistic standard of working 24-7. I have been looking at life in black and white. I'm either A, working my ass off, which means I'm being a good productive human being, or B, not working, which means I'm a piece of shit. Even when I was working as a good productive human being, I also felt like shit because I felt selfish for never making time for others and most importantly, myself. I constantly have been thinking about what I'm supposed to be doing, should be doing, and my future. Recently, I decided to change the perspective since I saw myself burning out and slowly losing the joy that came from making videos. You are not a machine that is meant to optimize the amount of work you can do in your lifetime. You are a human being. So, spend time being. Reminding myself of this truth, in addition to creating new systems, I felt much more at peace. Most importantly, I've been much kinder to myself. If you are not familiar with systems, a very simplified explanation is doing small things every day to help achieve long-term goals you set for yourself. Systems help me be the better person I want to be in a way that doesn't put so much pressure on myself. Through the process, I have given myself the time to reflect and prioritize the most important things to me, and turns out working is not at the top. I highly, highly recommend watching the awesome video in my description going more in depth about what systems are and how they can apply to your life. Growing up, I was an obedient child. I would complain and cry sometimes for having to do chores, but I did them. I knew if I did what I was supposed to, there would be no conflict and I was always able to do what I wanted afterwards. Now that I am older, I have realized that sometimes following the rules can be at your own expense. Decisions and rules have to be made for yourself at some point. 
You can still reach out to your people for help. I usually do more often than not. But at the end of the day, you have to live with the decisions you have made. I thought that if I continued to please others, there'd be no issues just like when I was a kid. But at some point, you'll reach a peak of exhaustion and will burn out. This is my peak of exhaustion and burnout, if you could not tell. I'm tired of feeling like I have to do a certain thing or be a certain way to make others happy or comfortable. I'm not saying don't have empathy. I'm saying to think about yourself more. I always admire people that do whatever the fuck they want. It is honestly so empowering and truly amazing the kind of shit they create because they don't let others dictate their lives. I want to emulate that energy in my life. Truly, I think I haven't said exactly what I'm trying to do here on this platform or in life continuing up to this point. And it's always been vague on purpose because I don't have a solid one word label for it. I feel that some people don't take me seriously. I thought labeling it would make me feel better, but it just puts me in a box. I'm a lot of things that is always changing, as is everyone on this earth. I just want to keep doing what I love. At the end of the day, this is my art, and as I said previously, a form of self-expression. I create, feel, be, and share that experience with whoever decides to watch my videos. My love and hard work truly goes into everything I create, and that means a lot to me. I have so many pains, worries, and traumas I need to continue to reflect on. I strive for continued growth and healing. I strive to do everything out of love and intention. I strive for acceptance of myself and honest self-expression in everything I do without fear. I strive for balance. I strive to be. Here is a wholeheartedly thank you for watching my video up to this point. While I struggle with this feeling of being misunderstood and many other things, I am so, so grateful that I have a support system that really sees me and to have this platform to just be myself. Thank you again for coming along on this emotional journey with me. And as a lovely YouTuber named Hitomi has said, which I have adopted into my language, thank you for being just as you are. Voice over me will be dipping from here on out, but the coloring continues. Please enjoy my childlike coloring skills and kawaii music. I hope I can see you in the next one. Bye.